This week's episode is a reflection on the first chapter of Genesis and the goodness of creation. I'm Rachel Keefe, and this is Monday's Muse. So in the lectionary for this week is the first chapter of Genesis that is one of the creation stories included in the book. And it is the the account in which God creates the world and after each segment, God sees what God has done and pronounces it good. Right through the creation of humankind, together in the image of God, God created them male and female. And then when God was done with all of the creation, God sat back and looked and said that all that God had created was very good. We tend to get caught up in some distracting debates about this story. If we look at science telling us the facts of evolution, we can accept that without canceling out the truth of the myth of creation. When this story was first told, it was told to Israelites in Babylonian captivity to remind them whose they were and why they were created. They were created by God for good. And that in spite of all that was going on in the captivity that they were experiencing, the oppression they were experiencing, they were still God's people created for good. We would do well to pay more attention to the truth of this story and not take it as fact, like science and evolution, but truth because it reminds us of whose we are and why we were created. The truth is still that we were created for good. We bear the image of God and we are meant to reflect God in the world and that can only be good. It doesn't matter who you are, what you've done or not done, what abilities you have or don't have. We all reflect the goodness of God, not one individually, but all of us together. And that can't help but be good news because when God pronounced creation good, there was no exception to it. Everything that God had created was created for good. That means every kind of person, every kind of creature, no matter how we might feel about that, I have doubts about spiders and snakes myself, but they were all created for good, to display the fullness of God's generosity and the overwhelming gift of love that creation is for us and for us to be a part of. So I find myself wondering how our daily lives might change, how our perspective about how we live in the world could change if we started to think about the goodness in which we were created and for which we were created. That our task is simply to reflect God's goodness in the world and to treat creation and other people with that same goodness. With all that's going on in the political scene, imagine what it would be like if all of our leaders stepped back and recognized their goodness, the goodness of all the peoples of the earth and of the earth itself. When that happens, we will truly reflect the purpose of creation to reveal God's goodness and to live in gratitude for the gifts we have been given. As you are thinking about that, I will tell you that we have filmed early this week and we will not be having an episode next week because my wife and producer will be traveling. We will see you again on June 26th. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you in a couple weeks.